Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am giving away a free shatter map generator for your shatter effects in HitFilm. So last week I did a video on how to um, use the shatter effect and shattering a graphic. And as coincidence would have it, totally by luck, we had a discussion on the forums about some old shatter maps that were uh, created by a guy by the name of Tushka. And they were really, really cool. And I started playing with them and I thought, man, I want to make my own shatter maps. And so then I started thinking about different ways of doing that. And I went into HitFilm and I started playing around and I came up with a couple of different ideas for a shatter map generator um the first one is here and this is using the grain effect on a plane so basically uh i have this grain effect and the grain effect is not monochrome so don't have that ticked on right it has a maximum amount of 1000 to it and then the size just can be anywhere from zero to five, okay? And so if you want them smaller, you can make them smaller. If you want them bigger, you can make them bigger, okay? And then if you feel like it, you can add some other things to it. For example, the cartoon effect, which creates this sort of a blobby look. Um, oil painting effect, which creates a little bit more of a edged look. Um, there's the sharpen effect. And the unsharpen effect, which actually makes it look sharper to me. Uh, don't ask me why. And then very interestingly, a pixel sort effect. And there might be some other effects that you might search through and find here in uh, the effects panel. And if you do find something that is really cool, please do me a favor and share it with me in the comments below. Also, I added a couple of grade layers, including one, a block displacement effect on it. And that block displacement effect is pretty cool because you can change the size of it, right? You can change the amount of displacement, right? That sort of a thing. Also, I added a witness protection effect, which if you look at it, you'll see uh, that it's basically witness protecting the entire thing, okay? <laughs> um, and as a result, uh, you know, again, the size of these can be big. Um, if you go under pixelate, you can make the blocks on it bigger or smaller or whatever, okay? The key here is, is that on the plane, you can change the seed of the grain to give yourself a different shatter map every single time you do it, right? So that was my first run idea using the grain effect on a plane. The second idea is to use a particle sim instead, a particle sim. So uh, in this case, and I'm just going to open this up over here, emitters, emitter, and under the particle sim. This is, you can see that I have a, a certain amount of particles per second in here, okay? And so I could fill it all the way up, right? Or I could come down here very few, right? Just whatever I feel like, okay? Um, under movement, scale, I can change the scale so I can make these bigger, and then I wouldn't need as many of those, right? Um... I can make um, uh, more varied under movement variation, right? So I can change the, the variation of those sizes. The deal is the appearance of it is set to black, okay? And the appearance variation is set to 100%, okay? Otherwise, uh, anything less than that, they're going to be something other than 100%. And you might want that because what I have done in the project file that I'm going to go through next is I've set the fixed color of the shatter effect to white. So if you don't want anything to be white, you probably don't want it to be exactly 100% because then it will vary it all the way to the white end. Um, and that'll leave some pieces of your graphic hanging. So you might go back to 80% or something like that, 70 something percent. Okay. Also, I have added a black plane underneath here. And the reason is because, let's say, for instance, I uh, turn that plane off. You can see that there are some holes in this, and that would basically remove the graphic there, and there would be no shatter or even any graphic. So just adding, filling in the holes. Also, I've added in the block displacement effect and the witness protection, just like on the other one. And again, you can just jump in here 
and change these settings, whatever you want. And also, don't forget to change the seed of the particle simulator, so that way you can get any sort of a, uh, um, a, a look that you want. Change it every single time. You have your own very unique um, shatter maps that you could use. So now, jumping over into the other project file, what I want to do is use those shatter maps to actually shatter a piece of text. Now, what I have done is I have exported the shatter maps and I ex use the export PNG, uh, you know, export frame feature uh, in the shatter map generator to create these, okay? And you will want to do that. They're only one frame long, so it's pretty easy to do. And basically you go under options and say export the frame in that shatter map generator, okay? Um, then what you do is you come over here, you can put a graphic in the graphic tab and it, it doesn't have to be a text. It could be any graphic you want in the shatter map tab. You'll add a, one of your shatter maps. Um, and what I have done is I have, uh, went ahead and exported the grain, you know, straight up the way it is in the file, as well as with the block displacement, the particle sim, as well as with a block displacement too. So let me just pick one, maybe the grain with a block displacement. Um, and then you can have whatever timing map you want. This is explode all at once. Um, this is a gradient from left to right. This is a gradient from right to left. This is um, a radio from inside out. Also kind of comes in from the edge as well. This is a radio from outside to in. And this is a, just an organic map. This is a, essentially a fractal noise. And you can create your own timing maps. And if you do, share them with me. I'd love to see what you've got. Put a, you know, men Make a mention in the comment section below. I think I'll just go with a gradient from left to right. Now, if I come over here, you'll see that right away it is already working. I'm hitting the RAM preview button which is um, Alt-L, and it's creating a RAM preview of this. And I'm going to show you a little trick how you can fairly quickly be able to see what it looks like, okay? Um, whenever I feel like I've got enough of this previewed, then I just go ahead and hit the O key. I can also hit this button here, which sets the out point, boom. And it automatically stops the RAM preview, okay? I can back up, and I can hit this loop key which is also uh, control l loop playback and now when i play it by hitting the space bar or hitting the play button then you can see that it's just looping the piece that i ram previewed and only that piece so it gives me a good idea and that's a pretty cool looking shatter map to be honest with you i think that looks that looks pretty sweet okay so that's essentially what we're talking about now i do want to point out something there was a discussion in the um, forums about this. How can I make this 3D? And actually, it's very easy to do. What you do is you insert a new uh, point layer, and then under this uh, layer dimensions button, you make it a three-dimensional. It will add a camera. If it doesn't add a camera, it will ask you if you want to add a camera, and the answer to that should be yes. Okay. And I'm going to hit this uh, show the floor plane or unshow it just to get rid of those little crosshairs. Okay. And under the shatter effect, um, sorry, the shatter effect itself. The very first one here is the position. And if I say transform from that to the new point, then if I open up the new point and I start rotating it, for example, it actually makes it three dimensional. Look at that. And it's literally shattering on both sides of this. Okay. And I can make this three dimensional all the way around. Now, also, if I go into the shattering effect again, and under the pattern, if I change the extrusion number, let's say I make it 30, then it will make everything thicker. If I make it 100, it'll make it really, really thicker, okay? And, you know, whatever, right? So you can make that as thick or as thin as you want it to be, okay? And so it is very easy to make this three-dimensional. Also, if you add lights to this scene, then those lights will interact. So they you will have to you know move it and tram, you know do everything but they will interactively uh, work with this but i have to tell you that if you do this you'll get a lot of artifacting and this and that so under the um first of all under the camera if you right click on it and say properties 
and change the near clipping distance to something like 8 or 10. That will help a little bit. Also, if you go to File and Project Settings and you go to Rendering and you change the 8-bit to, say, a 16-bit and you change the 4x to 8x MSAA, uh, then you'll get a lot better results out of that. Okay, so pretty much in a nutshell, that's it. I would love to see what you have created and... Um, just drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And hey, thanks for watching.